Hey there guys, Arsenal and Sheffield United have agreed a fee for Aaron Ramsdale of around £30 million. And it's a bit of a strange transfer. He's going to be coming into Arsenal. And I think it's a bit of a strange transfer. He's coming in to compete with Leno for the number one spot. And I think it's a bit of a strange transfer. Firstly, because I don't think Arsenal's main priority should be goalkeeper. I think they have bigger issues. Like, in my opinion, they need a right back. I think they could also do with a central midfielder. And they could also probably do with a striker as well. Now, he's been part of two teams that have gone down in Bournemouth in 1920 and also last season with Sheffield United. But last season, he actually got Sheffield United's player of the season. And there are some good players that do go down to the Championship and do get relegated. For example, you have Emi Buendia, who was with Norwich and now he's with Aston Villa. You've got Nathan Ake, who's now at Man City. He went down with Bournemouth. Todd Cantwell at Norwich, who just came back up with Norwich. So there's a lot of good players who do get relegated. They have quality in these relegated teams. Now, I do know he's part of two teams that have gone down, but I think he's actually a half-decent Premier League goalkeeper. But the question is, is, can he get Arsenal to that next level? Is he the goalkeeper that can take Arsenal to the level that they want to be at, which is challenging for league titles? And is he on the level, or can he get to the level of the top goalkeepers in the Premier League right now? So you have... Ederson for Man City, you've got Alisson for Liverpool, you've got even Hugo Lloris for Tottenham, Casper uh, Schmeichel for Leicester, Mendy at Chelsea. Can he get to that level? He might be able to, but I'm just not sure that he can. And to give him his dues, he actually got into the England Euro 2020 squad, and Arsenal wouldn't spend 25 to 30 million on a goalkeeper if he didn't think they would see him in the future or be their number one in the future. I don't really get Arsenal's transfer policy because you've got Emmy Martinez who was at the club last year who did great and was part of the team that won the FA Cup. He was amazing and he wanted to be number one and they decided to pick Leno over him. They sold him for £20 million, and now he's one of the best goalkeepers in the league which is understandable because he's, he's quality but even if you lose out on a top quality player you should make the right choice and they just made the wrong choice and they kept Leno and now they're spending even more money on a goalkeeper in Ramsdale. So they spent 20 on Emmy Martinez and now they're spending 25, which could go up to 30 on Ramsdale. So it just doesn't really make sense. They were interested in Emmy Wendia at Norwich before he went to Aston Villa. But they wouldn't pay the like 30 to 40 million, but they'll spend 50 on Ben White. So I don't really get it what they're doing. I think they're going for younger players, but why would you not go for Emmy Wendia? for the 38 million but you'll spend 50 on Ben White. It just doesn't really make sense to me. It's just a strange signing to me, it doesn't really make sense but Arteta needs this to work out because his job's on the line and I think if he doesn't start well or these signings don't work out he could lose his job within the first three to four months of the season. He could be gone by Christmas but it'll be interesting to see what happens. It's going to be a tough season for Arsenal I think. And who knows, maybe this will work out, maybe Ramsdale will be a great signing. Arteta needs it to work out and maybe we'll all look like stupid mugs after this or what after what I'm saying. I think it's going to be a tough season for Arsenal though. I think it's going to be a really tough, challenging season. And sorry to you Arsenal fans, I think it's going to get a lot worse and it is going to get a lot better. And it's going to hurt me to say this because I'm an Arsenal fan so yeah, laugh at me if you want but this is going to be a tough, tough season. But thanks guys for watching, really appreciate your time. How do you think Ramsdale will do? Do you think it's going to be a good signing? Do you think it'll be bad? I'd love to hear your comments on Ramsdale and just your comments on Arsenal in general. Where do you think they'll finish? Uh, but thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it. Uh, daily football content, as I said, every time, every single day. And yeah, if you enjoy football content, subscribe to my channel. Daily content, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.